there are a few different types of fabric that you can use for cross stitch. So you might well be confused about the differences between them and when you might want to use each of them, especially if you're a beginner to cross stitch. In this video, I'll explain exactly what each of the three different types of fabric are and talk through the pros and cons of each so you can pick the perfect fabric for your next cross stitch project. Hi everyone, I'm Kat from Catkin and Lily, bringing you the best tips, tricks and tutorials so you can get the most joy from your cross stitching. So the three types of fabric that I'm going to talk about in this video are Ada, Evenweave and Linen. So let's take a look. So I'm starting with Ada or maybe Ida or Aida, but let's not get hung up on pronunciation here. Ada is a fabric usually made from 100% cotton that has bundles of threads woven into little blocks to form a regular grid of squares in which to stitch your crosses. So you can see the holes are relatively large and easy to see, and this block grid format makes it much easier to see the squares where your crosses go. So it does make it an ideal fabric to use when you first start cross stitching. But that does not make it lesser than other fabrics, and it does not make you a beginner if you only ever use Ada. If you never want to stitch on anything else, then that's totally fine. Now, I love Ada because it's so much quicker and easier to stitch on than the other fabrics I'm going to show you, and sometimes I just want ease of stitching. Now, you can find all sorts of branded and unbranded Ada, and they may vary in terms of how stiff or soft the fabric is, or the size of the holes relative to the thread blocks, and that can affect the appearance. So when I buy fabric, I do like to use the Zweigart brand because I find it not too stiff or not too soft, and I like how it looks with the size of the holes relative to the rest of the fabric. I have another piece of Ada here that I bought, and I'm probably not going to use this because you might be able to see that the holes in this one are much bigger compared to the blocks of fabric. And I just don't really like the way it looks. I love the sparkly fabric, but I don't think it's going to look all that nice to stitch on. So the other two fabrics are often grouped together. And that makes sense because they're much more similar to each other than either of them are to Ada, but they do still have differences. I'm talking here about even weave and linen. And they still have a grid of threads, but the threads are much thinner and much closer together with Ada, so the holes are much less visible. Now, the difference between even weave and linen is that even weave is manufactured to ensure that both thread thickness and spacing are consistent. The clue is in the name, to be fair. Whereas linen is a natural material made from flax fibre, so the thread thickness can vary, the spacing of threads may be irregular, and there are often little slubs or bobbly bits. So you can see some slightly thicker threads here. And on here, there's actually, this is a little slubby bit here. Now, here's the really complicated part. A lot of the time when we cross stitches say linen, like this, what we really mean is linen even weave. Now it's made from 100% linen, so the threads will vary in thickness and have those slubby bits but the threads are spaced evenly to give a consistent stitch count per inch. So if you see Zweigart even weave, such as 25 count Ligana, 28 count Brittany, or 32 count Murano, that's made from a cotton and modal blend. And 27 count Linda is made from 100% cotton. Whereas Zweigart linen, such as 28 count Cachal or 32 count Belfast, is actually even weave linen. So it's got that even thread spacing because that's how they can make it actually be the count that it says it is. And I've measured on mine and yes, it is exactly the same count in either direction. But the fibres vary in thickness. We just tend to shorthand this to linen. Now, of course, you can get some fabrics that would be true linen and that would be where both the thread thickness and the spacing may vary. And I think that could make life quite difficult for your cross stitch. Now, if you've only ever used Ada and you're wondering which is easier to move on to in terms of even weave or linen, then it's often recommended to try even weave before linen because of the more uniform nature of the threads. And yes, the irregular thread thickness of linen can be a little bit harder to work with, but the main difference when moving to work with either of these fabrics from Ada is the way you work your cross stitches. So honestly, it doesn't really matter which you pick. 
So let's talk about the differences between Ada and even Weave or Linen. Now, I've already mentioned that the main difference is how you work the stitches. Because when you're cross stitching on linen or even weave, you make each cross stitch over two threads of the fabric instead of over one block when you're working on Ada. Now, I'm not going to get into the technicalities of that right now because that's probably a whole other video. But for me, that's the single biggest shift that your brain has to make. And it does make counting your stitches a little bit harder, especially when you have to count a gap in stitches because it can be quite easy to get it wrong by just a single hole on linen or even weave and be half a stitch out. So I find stitching, it's a little bit slower for me on even weave or linen. Now the second difference is that the fabric's softer. So you, the Ada tends to be a little bit stiffer. The linen, that's actually not too soft, that one. Even weave actually is softer. I tend to find even weave is, is actually softer than um, linen even. So that can be a little bit harder to handle and to get the stitch tension correct. And that's whether you're using a hoop or not. The next difference is that it frays like crazy. You can see the edge here, which I obviously didn't prepare. And for small projects on Ada, you can often get away with it. You can see how little this one's actually frayed while I was stitching it. But this one has frayed quite a bit. And in fact, I probably neatened this up from what it actually was when I finished stitching it. So for small projects on Ada, I often don't do anything special to stop the edge fraying, but I'm way more likely to do it for linen because it drives me kind of crazy. Now, if you're looking for ways to stop your fabric edges fraying, then take a look at my video with five methods you can try. And I'll link that in a card and in the description. Um, finally, linen or even weave can be more expensive. So as I record this video, 32 count linen is about 40% more expensive in one of my favorite online stores than the equivalent size piece of 16 count Ada. Of course, this might change over time. So it's just something to check if you're trying to be a bit more frugal with your stash spending. So why would you want to use even weave or linen rather than Ada? Well, mainly because of the way it looks. If we compare these two here, and I realize they're on different colors, but the background fabric tends to feel a bit less visible with linen or with even weave than Ada because you can't really see the holes as much. The background is a little bit more consistent and that combination of smaller holes and thread spacing can make your stitching really seem to pop. And it does give a lovely, elegant and delicate finish. Now, the softness of the fabric that I mentioned can actually also be a bonus because it can make it really nice to hold when you're stitching it and fractional stitches is the other bonus because they are a lot easier on even weave or linen because you have an actual hole right in the middle of the block to use for them. So no splitting the block like you would have to on Ada. Now that's a very big bonus if you're stitching a design with lots of fractional stitches. There is a way to make fractional stitches easier on Ada though and I've made a quick video showing you that. So I'll pop that in a card and in the description if you'd find that helpful to see. I still use a mix of all three fabrics for my cross stitch projects because it just depends on the style of the pattern that I'm stitching. I wouldn't ever want to stop using Ada because it's quicker and easier for me to stitch on. But sometimes the style of the pattern, I just feel that even weave or linen would suit it better. So then I'd use that. One thing I haven't really covered in this video is fabric count because I feel like that needs a whole other video. So I'll definitely be making that soon. And of course, if you don't want to miss that video or any of my other stitchy tips and tutorials, then make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and happy stitching.